Hi everybody and welcome back. So today we've got a special one. We've got the Profile RDTA. This is a collaboration between Watofo and Mr. Just Right One. Thank you so much for sending it my way for a review. Uh, so I've been testing it out. I've been doing a whole bunch of builds. So I'm going to show you three of the, t the build types down below. Mesh, single coil, and dual coil. And then we're going to come back up and we're going to vape on it pros and cons. Now this video will be just a little bit lengthier because of the fact that I am doing three builds. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching for the Profile RDTA in three. Okay, so here we are with the new Profile RDTA. This is brand new from Watofo and Mr. Just Right One. This is the box that it comes in. It's got all your kit contents here. You're gonna have the color and your scratch off authenticity and it does say Profile. This is what you're gonna get on the back. And then inside, you're gonna be getting your user manual or actually it's more of a user pamphlet. Um, not crazy about the pamphlet, but that's what you get inside. You're also going to get two Clapton coils. This is because this deck you can actually use mesh or standard coils. So they do provide you with some. They ohm out to a 0.33 frame staple Clapton. So they do provide you that. Cotton. Baggie of extras. This has the extra O-rings. It's also got um, the extra screws and also this base, which I'll be showing you in a minute. Extra stainless steel rods. You're going to also get your Allen screw. You're going to get a Phillips head screw and you're also going to get your coil wrapping tool. And then you're also going to get three mesh coils. Now you've got the new next mesh Clapton coil. You've got the next mesh turbo coil and the next mesh extreme coil. Now mesh, of course. Now on these, we already know what these two are like, so we will be using that to build on it. So we're gonna be doing the next mesh Clapton, which should ohm out to around a 0.2. And then the star of the show, of course. So this is actually the Profile RDTA. Very, very similar in the top portion as the RDAs that came out. This is actually more airflow, exactly like the original Profile RDA. Uh, it is a 25 millimeter in diameter RDTA and it does say profile with TOFO. And then you've got with TOFO and Mr. Just Right One there. It does have a protruding fixed 510. And then on the top, you do have this 810 drip tip. This is the resin drip tip. And then it's got like that steel little piece right there to make it nice and shiny, which I do like personally. And then of course, you've got some airflow options. That's what this is here. It's not a top fill, so that's your airflow options. Again, the airflow is identical to the original um, Profile RDA, the way that they actually shaped it, you see? And intents and purposes, the whole top portion of this looks identical to the original Profile RDA, which is my favorite RDA. So you do, you can go ahead and adjust your airflow. Whatever you do to one side does happen to the other. And you can also bring this out. Now, the first time that you use this, you will want to go ahead and lube up your O-rings on here because they are kind of stiff. Um, just at the beginning, once you're vaping it and stuff like that, it does loosen up a little bit. But if you notice, it's got that stair step configuration, very similar to the Profile RDA. So if you have it like this, it's going to be fully open and then you can turn it to be your desired airflow. Now it does have profile on this side, a little bit of fingerprints profile on this side. It doesn't have anything on this side. And then of course you've got like your cage. The cage is actually the same material as the rest of the device. And then your glasses on the inside, which is actually protected by the gauge, the cage, just in case you do drop it. Now this bottom part does all come apart. We're going to go ahead and show you that first. So if you unscrew the bottom like this, what's going to happen is right away your rods are going to fall into it because the rods are held up by it being together. But I did want to go ahead and take this apart so that you can see it. Now, when you take this apart, this is automatically a squonk pin. So you don't have to change it out if you don't want to. But if you do want to, in the bag, there is actually a standard pin right there that you can actually turn it into just a regular RDA if you don't want to squonk with it. If you do want to squonk with it, it's automatically already there. Of course, you can take the deck fully apart by removing the 510 as well as that extra screw. And then this is what the bottom of the cage looks like. So you have your four 
stainless steel rods and then the glass does come out fully clean it you can to take this part apart and again it does already have the squonk pin in it if you want to turn this into an rda and move forward you can all you need to do is take that extra piece that i showed you was in the extras bag and all you have to do is just basically screw this on and now it's an rda so that i think is really really ingenious that they did that so you can have it as an rdta or if one day you're deciding i just want to use this as an rda you can take off the bottom take out the rods and all you need to do is screw on that base now if you want to use it as a dripping rda then you would just go ahead and change out your 510 uh, pin right here which of course like i said it does come in the package and to put it back together is really really um, easy all you have to do is just screw that base back on now to look on the inside all you need to do is just take off the top cap once you do you can place your four uh, rods in or they're probably already in there so you don't have to worry about it the holes are really big enough for you to go ahead and put the rods in all you have to do is just drop them in it does take four so you're just going to go ahead and put in the four that are there put in the other one and then the fourth one there we go now they're in and they're going to sit flush now what happens is that with capillary action once you put in your e-liquid into the base which does hold 6.2 mils of e-liquid once you do that it's actually going to saturate your cotton because the stainless steel rods are going to hold that e-liquid and bring it up so with that capillary action it's actually going to wet your wicks to keep your wicks wet so that I think is great. Now, right here, I do want to show you, this is the, um, this is a ceramic plate. So this is going to hold your cotton firm underneath the mesh when you're using the mesh. And I want to tell you that besides the original profile, as well as the profile 1.5 RDA, this is actually, in my opinion, been a little bit, um, made a little bit stronger. It's a little bit firmer. So I absolutely love the tension of this, uh, ceramic piece. Now, if say for instance you want to actually use regular coils you can do that too you can actually put a leg here a leg here for one coil and a leg here and a leg here to make it dual coil or you can put one leg here and one leg here and make it a single regular coil which i'm going to be showing you how to build that anyways so i'm going to show you all three ways i'm going to show you with mesh i'm going to show you with a single coil and i'm going to show you with a dual coil then we're going to go on top and we're going to vape on a couple of them now one thing i did fail to mention is where you fill this thing so the fill hole for this is actually right here that is where you fill it yes that that small little hole right there that is where you fill it so i guess they alleviated the side fill that others have used and they decided to do it with top fill so you can actually go ahead and put and fill up your e-liquid through that hole right there now these right here are pretty deep wicking channels so you're going to lay your cotton in you're not going to stuff it you're literally just going to lay it on top of those rods and with the capillary action it's going to wet your wicks and then of course continue to wet it underneath the coil as well so for this one we're actually going to go ahead and use mesh so this is the new Next Mesh Clapton coil in all its glory. That's what it looks like. And that's what that looks like. So it's just a Clapton coil and that's how that looks. Now what we would need to do in order to make this work is we do need to go ahead and round it on coil rounding tools. So what I'm gonna do is just hold it like this, put it on the fat end of it, not on the skinny, but on the fat end, just hold it. And what I like to do is just turn my uh, coiling rod or the bending rod i just like to turn it just a little bit and by turning it it actually rounds it off and then you have your rounded clapton wire just like that so i'm going to put this aside and we're going to open up the screws so for the mesh you're going to use this screw here and this screw here if we were we're using um, standard coils these are actually for your post legs and these are for your post legs so right now we only need to focus on the ones in the middle and when you do it, the, the um, deck is going to open up just like that. And then we can do the other side. Now, if you take it out too far, you might drop your, your um, screw. So be careful with that. And then just open it up. And there we go. Now, all we need to do is just take our mesh strip and literally just lay it inside. So I'm going to just take my mesh strip and lay it right there. You see how that goes in? Really, really easy. And then of course you don't want to put too much tension on the coil when you're screwing it tight. So just lightly make sure that it's in 
And what I do is I like to hold it from one side, just from one side, making sure that it's in. And you're just gonna go ahead and clamp that down. And then the other side might pop out, but that's okay because it'll lay right back in. And then just go ahead and clamp down the other side. Now, once you get it pretty firm, then you can go ahead and crank it more. That's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and dry burn it. Now, whenever you're burning mesh coils, please try to um, not do it at too high of a wattage. It's heating it up way too quickly. I know that we're trying to get smuts off and everything, but you definitely don't want to, you know, heat it up very, very quickly. You want to do it at a low pulse um, just to make sure that it's heating evenly and you're getting any schmutzes out of it. Okay, and I've got this at 20 watts and we're going to go ahead and heat it up. And there we go, nice and glowy, just pulsing it. And all of the Clapton coils are glowing evenly. See, you don't need a high wattage, really low wattage, 20 watts, and you're perfectly fine. So now we're gonna go ahead and wick this up. Now there are a couple different ways to wick it. You can wick it like Watofo wants, which, you know, Watofo likes their wicking a certain way. Or you can wick it the way that I do my RDAs. Um, it's up to you how you wick it. There is no wrong or right way. As long as your cotton is not collapsing and it is firm underneath your coil, it doesn't really matter. So you wanna make sure that you do that. So what I'm gonna do is it does come with three different um, leg strips, well, four different strips. It's gonna come with, in the package, it comes with two thick ones, which are these two, and then it's gonna come with two regular size. These are if you wanna do uh, standard coils, which we will. So I'm gonna just take one of these, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press down on the ceramic plate as I'm putting it in. And then when you pull it, you wanna push down a little bit. Always pull from both ends. That way you're not moving your coil. Nice and firm. So there we go. It's nice and firm. It's not coming out. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and cut off the legs. Cut it like Watofo says, and Watofo likes to cut it at an angle. I'm actually gonna cut it like this first, just to get the excess off. Let's go ahead and get that excess off and then we're going to cut it further. Okay. But for me, I do like to thin out my cotton. So that's the way I'm going to do it. So for them, what they want to do is they say, fluff it up, fluff it up. And then they want you to cut it at an angle like this. Now you can do it like that, which is the way that they do it. Or what I do is I like to cut it from the bottom and hang down the rest so you can do it either way now what i am going to do is go ahead and fluff out the ends because we do want those fluffy because with the capillary action you do need your cotton to be fluffy so you can do it either way if you want or you can do it your way or you can do it my way or you can do it with tofo's way it doesn't really matter you just want to make sure that your cotton is nice and fluffy and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to actually just lift it up and I'm gonna go underneath it and I'm gonna cut some off. I'm just cutting the bottom off. There we go. I'm probably gonna cut just a little bit more off. Let me just separate it just a little bit more. There we go. This is just the way that I do it. You can do it any way you want to do it but this is the way that I like to do it. And it looks like a hot mess, but it's not. I'm just go ahead and cut that. Get that out, okay. And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and comb it down. And trim, make it even. And then I'm gonna fold it into the channel. Just fold it in. I'm not stuffing it, I'm just folding it in like that. So there we go. You see how neat that looks? <laughs> I prefer this method rather than their method, but that's just me. So I'm going to show you the way that I would do it because, well, that's the way it works for me. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this side. And hey, we've got that all wicked up. Got a little straggly right there. I hate stragglies. There we go. So that's all wicked up. So let's go on to the next build. The next build is going to be a single coil build. Okay, so here we are with another deck. We're gonna go ahead and loosen up the po post screws on the sides. So, so we're gonna loosen up the post hole right there. You can see the, the screw coming out. And I'm gonna open up this one here and we're gonna go ahead and put on a single coil. 
There you go. And for my single coil build, I'm actually going to be using this end string Freepol coil from Coil Clout. You can get these at coilclout.com. Use the coupon code WENDY in all caps and you get a discount. And this is what that pretty thing looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my coil just like that that now my coil leg is at 5.5 millimeters i did use the coily tool and that's what i adjusted it to so let me go ahead and tighten this down and then we can adjust the coil that's tight down and then do this side and then all we need to do is just straighten out our coil just like that nice and centered okay and then there is the single coil build so we'll start heating this up same 20 watts. Just give a little scrape there. A little, there we go. And there we are heating up from the center to the outside. So I'm going to take a piece of the included cotton that they give right there. This is the thinner of the two. This is the one that you want to use when you're wicking this, the standard coils. So all you need to do is put in your little shoestring inlet and then pull it out on the outs other side and pull from both sides, this side and this side, and it helps it get through really, really easy, just like that. Then we'll go ahead and trim it. So I'm going to leave it just a little bit longer than the deck. So right about here and right about here and then I'm gonna fluff it up. That is gonna be key for the capillary action. So I'm just gonna fluff this up, make it nice and fluffy, and then just fold it down and lay it right on the rods. And there's your single coil build. And there we go, it's just laying in there nice and light. So there is the single coil build. Now onto the dual coil build. Okay, so now on to the dual coil build. For that, I'm gonna be using my Coil Clout Fuse Claptons. These are my favorite for Addy such like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out two of those. And again, you can get any of the stuff that I use from Coil Clout. That's where I pick up most of my stuff. So coilclout.com, Wendy. And let's go ahead and first, we're gonna open up all the legs this time, not just the two, because we're gonna be putting in a dual coil. Go, got two there, and unscrew these, and this one. Okay, and let's go ahead and put these coils in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the first one. Again, you can use the ones that are included. These are just my favorite to use, so I'm gonna use these instead. So you're gonna put that in there, drop it down, and I cut mine at six millimeters just in case you are interested. And I did use my coily tool. Another thing you can pick up from Coil Clout if that helps you, but I did do six millimeters. Just go ahead and tighten that down. Tighten this down. And then I'm just gonna move this over so we can put in the other coil. And we've got one there and one on the other side. There we go, right there. And screw down the others. And straighten them out. So I'm just gonna pull this one a little bit this way. there and there we have the dual coil build so let's go ahead and start heating up these coils there we go starting to heat up nicely and then you can go ahead and pinch them okay and they're starting to heat up nicely a little light strumming, a little light pinching. See, there's a hot spot on this side. Take out them hot spots. Okay, we've got them glowing really nicely. So now let me show you how to wake these up. Just take those thin um, pieces of cotton that were provided 
I'll go ahead and put the first one through here. Again, well, those little plastic things never work for me, do they? <laughs> Again, you wanna pull from both ends to get it to go through really nice and even. There we go. Let's go ahead and cut this one. And cut it right about there. And then we'll go ahead and use the other one. We'll do the same thing. Take out the little piece of plastic and then pull it from both ends. There we go. And cut this one. Cut these. Now we're gonna fluff these up. I want it to be very, very fluffy on the ends. That's my goal. Sorry, if I don't get that piece, it's gonna really bother me. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and fold it in. Just let it lay there. If you notice, it's not thick. It's just, it, see, we still got room. So I'm not shoving it down there. That's why I like to fluff it up first. I'll fluff this up. I'm gonna do the same thing, just trim it. Okay, from the outside too, there we go. And then we're just gonna fold it into the wicking channel, just like that. And there we go. Again, it's not stuffed too tight. You can see that there's still room. And now the fun part is to fill these. So let's go ahead and fill it. Now this is where I want you to, this is where I want you to keep an eye on it. Now if you remember, the fill hole is actually right here. So I'll scoot the cotton over just a little bit. There you go. So this is where the fill hole is. And this is my bottle. So this does hold a total of 6.2 mils of e-liquid. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my bottle in and you should be able to see it getting filled. There we go. Now, are you seeing that? It starts coming out a little bit while you're filling it. Like my bottle tip is in there, but it's still coming out just a little bit around it. Okay, so that's in there. And then of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my wicks like I generally do. This is definitely a must do because you definitely wanna make sure that that cotton underneath your coils is getting saturated. You don't have to worry about it um, leaking anyway or dripping outside or anything. So there we go, just go ahead and do that making sure that the cotton within those coils is getting nice and saturated. That's really, really key. And that doesn't matter if it's mesh or regular coils, you definitely wanna do that. If you do it for regular coils, that way you don't have any cotton break in time. So that works for me. And then you can wet it a little bit on the sides. There we go. And a little bit here. And this is just to get it started. This is not for anything else. This is gonna be the only time that I'm actually wetting the coils or the wicks. And there we go for the dual coil. There are locks on the top cap. I totally forgot about this. If you take this piece out here, you can actually see it. You see it? So when you put this in, it actually locks the cap in place. So you're gonna lock it in place over where the, the fill hole is. That's where you can remember where it is. So it's gonna go from there to there. So what you're gonna do is just go ahead and put it down. See how it fits in there perfectly for that and then just push it down and your cap is on. That is really, really important and I'm so sorry, I forgot about that, I was worried about the builds. And then all you need to do is just put your cap on and that one is done. So let's go over to the next one. So same difference, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we saturate our cotton. And then we're gonna put the juice right, or the e-liquid right on top of the mesh, get that nice and saturated and then we'll fire. Really, really important to do this so that the cotton underneath that mesh gets wet as well. If you drip it over, don't worry about it. You can always clean that up. You definitely want to do this part. It's really, really important that all that cotton get nice and saturated. And you'll see because it's coming out, it's getting saturated from the steel rods. You notice I haven't touched anything on the sides and it's getting nice and saturated. The steel rods are definitely pulling up that e-liquid. But if you notice, it's wicking up really, really nice. I didn't even put anything on the ends and it was already grabbing grabbing the e-liquid from the rods. So there we go. So that's that. And then of course, we're gonna put on our top cap again. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this on here like this. 
you'll see that it fits just perfect when you put it on right. And then we're just gonna put that down and then put on our top cap. So yeah, so there we are. We've got the Profile RDTA with the mesh strip in it, the Clapton mesh, and then we've got the Profile RDTA with the dual coils. So let's go ahead and go on top. We'll take a vape, pros and cons, and I'll tell you how I feel about it. Okay, so here we are back on top. I've got the Profile RDTA with the next mesh Clapton mesh coil, and then I've got the dual fuse Clapton coils in this one. So before anything, let's go ahead and have a vape and we'll talk more about it. Now for the dual fuse Claptons. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna say is that it's super, super airy with the airflow wide open, which is what I have it right now for you. I actually have both of them fully wide open. I know it's hard to see in the camera, but they're both fully wide open. I will tell you that with the dual coils, it does feel a little bit more restrictive than with the mesh. So just in case you're wondering, it's actually perfect like this for me with it fully wide open with the dual fuse Claptons. With the mesh, I do like to, to cut down just the top row. So there it is with just the top row closed down and that's where my sweet spot is. You're still getting clouds and you're still getting flavor, which is just amazing. I absolutely love that. Now with this one here, I actually have it on 68 watts and it's vaping absolutely beautifully. It is a 0.17 build in here. And this one of course is the next mesh Clapton mesh coil. And this one's ranging, uh, re the resistance is showing at a 0.21. Now this one I have on 53 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to 58 watts to match this one. And let's go ahead and have another vape. that flavor. I'm not just saying that because this is with Tofo. I'm not just saying that because it's Mr. Just White Right One. I absolutely love the Profile RDA and the Profile 1.5. The Profile being my absolute favorite of all of them. The Profile RTA is also a really, really great um, RTA. But if you're looking for an RDTA that you can convert into an RDA, then these would be it. Now, I love the fact that these are convertible even if you have juice in it. So say for instance, I wanna take this one, I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna make a mess. If you do do it with juice in it though, remember that when you're taking off the top piece, which is gonna be the RDA, your um, the stainless steel rods will drop into the tank part. And in order for you to put them back, you would actually have to lift up the cotton once you put this back on and drop the rods in. You can't do them from the bottom. So that's the only thing about changing it out that I would wanna warn you about is once you change it out, you would have to replace those uh, stainless steel rods back in. Now, I'm not gonna actually change it into an RDA right now because I, I really like to use them as they came. Um, now for me, I'm absolutely still getting sort of a cooler vape with the mesh, just like on the Profile RDA, the Profile 1.5 RDA, and the Profile RTA. It is a cooler vape. Now with the Clapton coil, or with now with the Fuse Claptons, if you're looking for a warmer vape, you can do it now because you can actually change it out. It works the same way with the single coil. I was rocking the single coil for a couple days and it's just, it's just as flavorful and it works just great. So if you want single coil, you can do it. If you want dual coil, you can do it. If you want mesh strips, you can do it. So that means that this has options. Wendy loves options and Wendy loves flavors. And <laughs> these have amazing flavor. It's right up there with their, with their RDAs. It really is. And I'm not getting any type of dryness or anything. It's wicking efficiently as long as you don't stuff the cotton in the holes. If you do get this and you're getting dry hits or it's not doing its job and the capillary action is not bringing up that e-liquid, thin out your wicks. Make sure that it's just laying in the wicking channels. It's not stuffed in there because you want it laying on top of the rods. The rods are bringing up the e-liquid, but it's not like bringing it up like if you were squonking. It's not gonna push that e-liquid up. So you do wanna make sure that with the capillary action that you do have you know, enough cotton, but not too much in it, if you know what I mean. So other than that, I've not been getting any dry hits. It does work with the capillary action and it's wetting them. I'm, I'm, 
I'll go ahead and take five rips real quick of the mesh. No dryness. Every single one is flavorful. I've got so much blueberry cake on my tongue. It's ridiculous. The flavor lingers. It's just, it's in your mouth delicious. It really is. Now I'm going to do it with the Fuse Clapton's. It still works. Both of them are working absolutely amazingly. Now, I'm sorry that the video is a little bit long, but I did want to show you how to build it, all the different ways that you can build it, single coil, dual coil, and with the mesh. Honestly, if you didn't already have an RDA, I would definitely suggest getting this because you can use it as an RDA or you can use it as um, an RDTA. And the best part about this is that even as an RDA, you can still use the single coil or the dual coil or the mesh strips. So I think that that's great. You can actually convert it. If you already have the RDAs, it doesn't matter because now you've got another one if you want. <laughs> and this one, you can do the different builds. So I think that's great. The flavor on this, I want to say, I don't want to say it's better than the Profile RTA, but for me, it's a little bit better than the Profile RTA. I It holds 6.2 mils of e-liquid. So that for me is definitely going to be a plus in itself because I love e-liquid capacity. I don't like having to fill every few minutes. Whereas with the Profile RTA, I was filling it a lot. So with these, you're not gonna do it. Now it is a little bit taller. Um, from here, without the 510 included, from here to the top of the drip tip, this is actually 52.7 millimeters tall. Of course it is 25 millimeters in diameter. So it is a little bit tall, but it's not massively tall. I mean, if you put it up against a, a here, I'll put it, I'll put it up against this. So putting it up against my um, Aromamizer Plus V2, just with the bubble glass, look at that. Oh, no, actually, this is my original Aromamizer Plus. Putting it, it's it's just as tall, the, the, this one's just a little bit taller, but it, it's not that much more massive um, if you like e-liquid capacity and you like RDTAs. Again, this is so versatile, versatile that you can actually change it. You can make it yours. You can put three different types of builds in it. You can make it an RDA and you can make it an RTA. I'm not just saying this because it's with Tofo and I'm not just saying this because it's Mr. Just Right One or Joel Robinson. I'm not saying it because of them. I'm telling you my honest feelings about these and I'm telling you from my experience and my vape, my vape style, it it's hitting it out of the park either way. If you're looking for a warmer vape, you definitely want to try putting in either a single coil or a dual coil in it. If you like the cooler vape, standard as the RDAs, then I think that you would really, really like this one. Um, either way, it works absolutely beautifully. I do like the fact that they have the new Clapton mesh coils. Um, it works just as well as the other ones. As a matter of fact, it's giving me a little bit more air with the with the um, Clapton mesh than it does with the standard mesh. And I don't know if that's because it's got, you know, the, I'm not science. I'm, I'm not scientific. I'm, I don't work for NASA. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm guessing it's because it's got the space in between the coils, but that's just my opinion. Of course, I, I don't know for sure, but it's really, really good. Again, I do like this one with it closed down, just the top row, um, the rest of it like that. This one I like fully open with the Fuse Clapton. So amazing flavor, I'm telling you. Either way that you go, you're not losing, <laughs> I'm telling you. And they do provide you with some frame staple coils also, so you can try it out yourself and let me know what you think, which is what I would love you to do down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. What do you think about the versatility of it? And what do you think about like RDTAs in general? I feel like these work really, really well. There is a huge con for me though, and it's a really, really big con, and that is the fill port. That fill port, I do not like. I, I know there's a, I'm sitting here raving about it, but the fill port, I don't like. I don't like the fill port. I don't like that you have to take off the top cap and you have to go and fill it. I don't like that. I feel like it's just a lot of work, in my personal opinion. Um, I know that on an RTA and stuff like that, you unscrew the top and it's all good and everything. But for this, I really feel like I, I wish that it had an easier fill method. And also that hole is just super, super tiny. I mean, it's 
Look, see, it's really, really saturated. I haven't dripped on it or anything. This is just from the capillary action. But that fill hole right there is just, come on. <laughs> it's just, it's just way too tiny for me. It just, it doesn't, it, it's not, it's, it's not for me. That fill, the fill method is not for me. I, I think that if they would have made it some way that the fill hole was a little bit bigger so that you didn't have it coming back out, I think it would have made it perfect. It literally would have perfected it in my opinion. Um, other than the fill hole, I really do not have any other issues with it. It's super airy. If you like super airy, you can restrict it down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take this down to, let me close off. All right, once you close the top, I forgot to mention this. Once you close the top, then it actually takes it like from the side. So I'm gonna close it down to where there's like six or seven holes. Like most of it's closed down. Can you see it? Okay, so now let's go ahead and have a bake. You can restrict it. Not necessarily mouth to lung, but it would be a really, really airy mouth to lung, but you can do it. You can cut this down and make it yours, which it just boosts up the flavor. It does nothing else but boost up the flavor, I promise you. So it does come in six colors, which I, I love the fact. I mean, look at that blue. Love the, the fact that they're automatically coming out with six colors instead of three. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those colors up here for you right now. And all of them are beautiful. I really wish I would have had the rainbow one, but of course I have the, the, I have the gum metal. It's not bad. I like the gum metal, but I love this blue. <laughs> So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my review. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which way you would build it. That's what I would want to know. Mesh, single coil, or dual coil? Which way is the way that you want to build your new profile RDTA? Let me know. So if you get it, what are you going to do? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next one.